All right guys, in it's Brown Makes Sense. As you can see, we are now in the workshop and we've got the Quick Connect. So what we're gonna do is go back through just quickly how the system works. And then what we're gonna do is actually fire up the machine. We've got a load of gear. Uh, I'm gonna be using a 315 tip. But the point is, I want to actually just show you how it all comes apart, it goes back together. We'll go through different sizes. We just wanna see how quick and easy the whole system is. Uh, does it work? Let's, let's do this. Okay, so the first thing we've got is obviously the Quick Connect uh, adapter. So this is a two-part system. So what we're going to do is, as you can see, that just unclips. And what we've got is obviously uh, the end for the, the guard to fit and this actually fits on the gun. The only difference is with this is we're going to have to tighten this up with a spanner so that obviously when we unclip it, it doesn't come off from this point here. Just get an adjustable spanner and give it a tighten. I've given it quite a decent nip because I want to be able to obviously quick connect but not loosen this section. As you can see already just by hand, it's pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up as you can see there. Um, that's the bit that we're going to use. So if we were kind of working in a confined area under a stairs in a hallway, we wanna be able to just use obviously the, the gun as it is. It's a small extension. And then we're gonna go through each of these as we go. So let's take this off first. There we go. So first thing I'm going to do, because it's going to be easier, is just affix the adapter, add the guard. Okay, just loosen the guard a little bit, add my tip. So what I'm gonna do now is fire up the machine, get it all set up. Obviously take this off, let's say the demo gun, put it on my gun and actually get spraying. We'll move the table out of the way, move it to one side, and we'll just keep coming back, trying the different sizes. See how quick and easy it is to change things over. Cool. So what we're going to do is, Technically, I'll probably go through every bar. What the hell, let's do it. So what we've got is 15 centimeters, okay? Um, 30, 45, okay? 60 centimeters, 75, and a proper big boy extension, which is just under a meter, 90 centimeters. Uh, my Standard extension bar that I'd be spraying most of the time would be anything from, let's say, a 30 to a 45, okay? But I use the small one, um, yeah, maybe sometimes it would work. We're spraying emulsion at the moment. Um, it is cold here today, so we've got a little bit of tailing. That's not my issue. I'm not worried about, obviously, what the paint looks like to a certain extent. Uh, 315 tip, and we're gonna start just with technically the gun on its own, because you're going to be using this a lot. So that's how it would look. That's, that for me is pretty much, I suppose, what my gun looks like most of the time anyway, because obviously I'm usually running uh, a clean shot. I mean, we're going to try these with clean shots and everything else. So what we're going to do is give this a bit of a go first. Okay, so I'm just going to do some very quickly, just to make sure that obviously we don't get any kind of leakage, uh, any kind of problems. And then what I'm going to do is just come back to the bars, I'm gonna unclip it, I'm gonna add another extension, put it back on, pull the trigger, see how we fare. As you can see, all seems fine. Actually came out really nice. Uh, I'm just gonna do one little bit, just to see if we've got any spitting. Very little. So what we're gonna do is safety first, trigger lock, Okay, so that we can't pull the trigger whilst we're messing around. All I'm gonna do is just pull apart. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna take the 30 centimeter extension bar, add the adapter clip. Obviously what I'm gonna do is just shoot it on the floor two seconds just to clear out any air, and then we're gonna see how it sprays. But we're also gonna, again, look for the spit. very little spit. To be honest with you guys, I mean, ceilings, everything else, it is just so quick to take off. 
put back on, and then we're back in the hallway. It is seriously, you know, just, just thinking over the years of, of obviously using a big spanner and thinking, oh, I'll just loosen that and I'll change this and I'll change that. I just think it's, it's going to be a huge game changer. They just feel really nice with the clip. We're going to take these on site, give them a good run. But like I said, first impressions straight away. These are obviously full of paint, so we're going to clean these out in a minute. Seeing what I've seen, I don't think we're going to be going back. I think these are, these are here to stay, and we're going to be purchasing a lot more to go with the guys so that they've got these on site. Cool.